And you are now rockin' with the best Educated melanin, she beautiful and blessed Really one of them, but she ain't nothing like the rest I'm talking queen vibes, wifey in the G, ain't nothing less Why you so good to me, baby, that's the question You look so good to me, you never got a question They love it how we do it, how we pull up, we be flexing They ain't gotta like it, but oh yes, they don't respect it She know she got it, if I got it, we ain't stressing I know you here forever, sorry to the next chick This one for the fine women, show me how you stepping Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Dioff. In today's video, I am vlogging because I'm getting my eyebrows microbladed. And if you know me, I've been wanting to do this for years. I've been using Just For Men, doing it myself. And it's just, I have to keep doing it, right? But this time, I'm getting it permanently done. And I found the best person to do it. Like, I did my research. I was really on Google, Instagram, hashtags, all of that, trying to find out who really eats this up for dark skin girls because I used to be looking at people pages but I never seen a dark skin girl get their eyebrows microbladed and I felt like it would look like an OD tattoo so I was scared I was like mm, nobody's really doing it for us so I just stopped talking about it for about two years because it was like 2018 and 2019 where I was just like I want to do it I want to do it I'm tired of getting doing my brows myself and stuff like that but I finally found an alternative and I found the best person and she's already in Jersey, like she's in Jersey City. I don't gotta go to New York, none of that. So I'm just very happy. And I'm gonna take y'all along with me. I'm gonna even record the healing process because they said um, when you get them done, they start to peel like 14 days they start to peel and I was watching people YouTube videos but they wasn't even vlogging like they was vlogging but they would miss out on a day and be like I don't know what day this was it was getting me tight so I was like this is what I'm not gonna do in my video so I'm gonna make sure I get every day for y'all of the healing process and get the final look and everything y'all gonna love it I'm gonna love it let me not forget to mention today is August 1st when it comes to me and the first of the month, I'm always doing something new or trying to change my life. Like, I swear to God, this is every first of the month. July was the greatest month ever. Like, I was so creative and productive. And I didn't expect that from me, but it really happened. So, I just know. Like, I'm not gonna lie, 2022 was a really good year for me. And in the beginning of the year, I deactivated my Instagram. And life had just been amazing ever since. Like, I've been flourishing ever since I deactivated. I feel like Instagram was holding me back. I feel like I was posting more on Instagram or making Instagram a priority more than my YouTube channel. And y'all always stayed loyal. Y'all always subscribe. My subscribers would go up and I wouldn't even be posting. God is always sending me signs that this is supposed to be, like, my purpose. Like, I'm supposed to be doing YouTube more than any other social website that I have even though I have followings on all of them but y'all are loyal <laughs> but yeah let's get into today so guys I decided to stop at Starbucks before I got to the shop it's like mad early I'm gonna put the time and the date and everything because it is August 1st and I just love the fact that it's the first of the month um I'm gonna drive through right now it's mad traffic but when do you ever get to do Starbucks drive through yeah so I'm gonna just stay on the line but yeah I'm gonna show you guys the drink that I'm gonna get. It's like mad pretty, so. It's only pretty when I say like, when I don't say light ice, but when I say light ice, the drink just becomes like a regular pink lookish lemonade, but I'm gonna just let them put their regular ice. It's gonna look mad pretty. So y'all, I knew they was gonna do this. It looks like a regular strawberry aside, but it's not. It's supposed to be all pretty looking but they made it mad regular and I got a butter croissant. So now we on our way to the shop. So guys, I made it to the shop and the owner is so nice. I'm so happy I got to work with the owner because it's the owner. <laughs> you know, Google and everything said that this is the best in town. So I'll let you guys know how it goes. So I'm just giving y'all one last look of my brows before. Yeah, I specifically saved these, you know. If you look inside the drawing, this is your brow. Yeah. I just it if that makes yeah. sense. No, you did great, yeah. like, I like it. So guys, these are the mapping, and this is how my eyebrows is going to come out. And I'm not gonna lie, I like them. Like, they're not too thick, they're not too thin, they're just super natural looking. And I just can't wait to see, like, the final look.
So guys, she's gonna do the other side and I'm just gonna hold my tears in. <laughs> you could do it from that side? Yeah. Or you want me to go like this? Yeah, you gotta try. Okay. They look so good. They look like I just did my eyebrows with concealer. They look so good. Guys, look at this. So this is the final look, and y'all already seen the final look, but I just wanted to get it right here, in front of the sign. Yeah, no. I'll get more footages in the car, but I look really nice right here, all because of the lighting. But yeah, guys, I'm gonna get the healing process for you guys and everything. So I'm in the car, guys, and this is how day one is looking. This is how she told me it'll be looking for the 14 days of healing and I just love it and I'm just so happy that it's gonna take a whole year of me not doing my brows and just waking up and going about my day like so I might do the dry healing not really put nothing on it she said dry healing is the best healing some people get scared they put ointments on there but I am gonna get some A&D creams and just see like how it ends up being but um yeah, like, I really, I love them so much. And I'm so happy I finally got to do it. And I'll update you guys with the whole 14 days of healing. I'll start tomorrow with day one. See y'all tomorrow. So guys, by day one, I was like, mm, when is it gonna start peeling? And by day two, it just got darker and darker. And by day three, I was like, oh God, it just became more harder every time I would squinch my forehead. And then day four, still hard around the edges, super hard, I thought. Day five, I started to see some peeling. I got a little excited. By the way, I did do the dry method. And day six, I was like, oh yeah, game on. I was a little bit tired of it, but I was like, yes, finally. <laughs> and then by day seven, I was like, definitely two more days or one more day is done because half of it was gone and it was just shrinking and becoming its normal shape. And then by day eight, it was good. And then I have an updated one for you guys right here of me today. The best thing about the microblading is it didn't take a long time for healing and I'm about to look like this for a long time. Big shout out to Zadia Studios. All the information will be down below. Bye guys.